Well, Katie uh, first came to the lab the year before last. She wanted to just see what it was like to be in a real bioengineering lab. So I saw in Katie a, a, a bright young student with uh, engineering quantitative expertise, which is exactly what I wanted. So I just suggested that she familiarize herself with the equipment. So uh, I put her onto that and she became the local expert in using this plethysmographic system. Uh, a plethysmograph is essentially a body box. Um, it's a closed system in which a subject is um, placed, usually unrestrained, as in humans, and that's what we're trying to do with the plethysmograph in the lab. And um, in this closed system, you condition the box to meet the conditions of the air in the lungs, so humidify it and heat it up. Um, to match exactly the conditions of the lung. And from there, you can generate graphs of pressure changes in which you can measure the breathing frequency of a subject. And you can also measure um, the change in volume of the lung to measure tidal volume um, and compare this to different models of disease or to healthy lungs. It's a really, it's a good non-invasive way of measuring lung function. I spent one summer um, going into my junior year learning about um, how to operate this body box and how um, the tiniest little like change will affect it, um, its accuracy. So um, yeah, it's been tough, but it's uh, definitely a worthwhile learning experience. As well as just learning how to use it, she's actually interacted with a number of the other faculty in the Vermont Lung Center. Um, and helping them to use the device to study their own mouse models of various diseases. Katie was able to help Dr. Ann Dixon, for example, study fat mice, mice that are uh, unnaturally heavy, shall we say. And, of course, if such mice do develop asthma-like symptoms, which is what she was interested in, in studying, then the UVAP system is a way of tracking whether those symptoms develop over time. I think everyone should do hands-on learning. It should be incorporated into definitely your classwork um, because uh, you can have engineers who get A's in all their classes and know all this theory, but when it comes to taking apart a car, they have no idea how to use a wrench. And I think just having this technical experience is essential.